Hello guys and welcome to our next session. Last time what we did with you was uh, creating a create read update delete for articles and now we are moving forward with adding images to those articles because there is no point of having articles if you don't have images. Uh, there is already an article inside uh, medium.com. Uh, it will be added as part of the description of this video so you could find it. And without any further ado, the first thing that we need to create is actually uh, add the image to the articles table. If I open the articles table now, and if I go to structure, you will see that there is no image. So we need a way for us to add that image. In order for us to add that image, we are saying, hey, Artisan, please make a new migration. The name of the migration is add image to articles table. And the table that we are going to use is actually articles. Once we get the message that this was done correctly, uh, we need to update the uh, up and down methods. So if I close everything from our uh, previous tutorial and if I go back to the image to articles table, you see that I have my up and down methods, but they are both empty. So if I replace them with the new ones, what we are doing is, hey, articles, I want to add a new uh, uh, column, which is named image, and this column could be doable. And then on the down method, what we are doing is we are dropping the comb. Uh, I'm adding here as a reminder that every time when you're using migration, uh, it's extremely important for you to have up method and then have a down method who is reverting the thing that you have just created. So uh, we are adding a new column. Let's see what will happen. So I'm running PHP artisan migrate. And if I click refresh on the table structure, Voila, we have a new column. If I click refresh on the interface, we have a new column. But as we are using and making some changes here, stating that all of the elements that we want to show are these, uh, there are no issues. There are no issues because we have just limited them. We said, uh, I'm going to tell uh, whatever and backpack which fields to show. And uh, inside the database, I might have an image field. But this field is not visible here. It's not visible if you click preview and etc. because we, uh, Laravel and Backpack are using this method in order for them to know what kind of fields to show for the end user. So uh, we have run the migration, we have the image. The next thing that we are going to do is we will adjust the articles model. What we are going to add to that articles model is uh, the model is inside app. Then I go to models and open the article model. I'm adding uh, two classes. I need support for string and I need support for storage. And then I'm adding two extra functions inside the functions list. So I will add the functions here. And what I'm doing with this code, I'm saying, hey, on boot, this means every time when this model is going to run, and uh, when someone is deleting an item of type article, I want to make sure that it will delete the added images as well. This is a common mistake of people when they start working in IT and in web development. Uh, they delete the, the data from the database, but they don't delete the files from the file system. So that's why it's extremely important for us when someone is deleting an article, uh, we will delete the images used in that article because the images are stored with that article. The images are not part of some media library. So that's why we need to delete them. And the second thing, it's the so-called mutator. So uh, this function is actually responsible for uh, saving the image into the correct place. And also there is some extra watch. How does it work? Well, every time when you have access object, then image, this mutator function will work. And as this mutator function is set, this means every time when someone is setting a, an image, uh, it will run and it will get the image name, it will get the destination path, and it will try to check if there is a value. If there is a no value, this means that originally there was a value and someone removed the image from the article. And as we stated that this is knowable, this is a valid way. So if someone has decided to delete the image, we need to make sure that the image is deleted from the storage as well. Uh, the storage in our case, it will be the file system. 
uh, when you have production websites, it's a good idea to consider using some different file systems, which might be different services. It might be S3 file service in Amazon or any other service. But uh, um, for what you need to know is that Laravel supports them all and you could set up. So for our convenience, we'll be using the file system on the computer, which is running the server. And uh, the disk that we are going to be used is the public disk. What does it mean that there is a public disk? Inside Laravel, there are many uh, folders, but one of them is called storage. In that storage folder, you could see that we have logs, we have framework, and we have app. And inside app, there's one folder which is public. So uh, when you're uploading files in a web application, you should always consider what kind of files you're uploading and where does those files should live. What I mean is, if I'm uploading an image to an article, this image should be accessible publicly, which means everyone from the internet should be able to open it. But if I'm storing something as a sensitive data that only the certain user could open it, then this should not be public. So this should not be part of that public disk. So every time when you are thinking, hey, I need to make a file upload, try to think what kind of files are you going to upload? Should those files be always accessible by anyone? And if not, how are you going to secure them? One of the easiest way is to have different disks. Have a public disk for everything that should be publicly accessible and then different disks based on the permission or your business logic. One of the good things is that there is some functions that could help you. For example, this function upload file to disk, it accepts the value, it has the attribute name, the disk and the destination path. And uh, if you don't specify a file name, it will create one for you. How does it work? Well, it will get the original name, then it will concatenate that with a random, concatenate that with the current time, and it will hash that value, and then it will get the original extension. Last but not least, uh, we need to make sure that this will be stored correctly in the database. Yes, I know that this might be a little bit not clear, but uh, don't worry. Once we make the adjustments, uh, you will see how this it will work. The next thing that we need to do is open the controller, which is inside app, HTTP, controllers, admin, and then article crud controller. What we are doing now is actually we're adding a new element, which is image, and it, it has either view or upload options. And if it's view, then there is a partial image. Now things will get a bit tricky, but uh, before uh, doing that, we need to check the setup list operation. Let me check the setup list operation here. And I will say, hey, I don't want you to read from the database. I want you to use this method that I have just added. So we have the method that we have just added. And if I click refresh, just to see what will happen, uh, we get an error and the error is, hey, are you trying to load something, where are you trying to load it from? And I see that partial image is not found. Why is this happening? Because we said if someone is on the show version, which is either listings or show, then please check, get the value of this entity and use a view which is stored inside partial image. So this means that under resources, views, there is a folder called partials. As you could see, there is no folder called partials. That's why we get the error. And if you check the next step from the tutorial, uh, we are being asked to create a new folder here. So I will create the folder partials. And then in that partials folder, I will get the name of the file, which is image. And I will create a new file, image.blade.php. And now we have the new file. Inside that file, I'm going to use this code. Let me just paste it. What we are doing here is we are checking, hey, um, does this entry, the entry here is the actual entity, have an image value? If so, please load the image tag with the, uh, with the path to the image. And I want to have a width of 120 and I want to have an alternative value. If this is okay, when I click refresh, you see that currently there are no errors and uh, there are no images. 
Uh, but uh, for example, just to see that this is working, if I add something like this, you will see that now it will have two lines with a space between them. And this will be in the image column. This means that uh, every time for each of those entries here, it will go and execute this image blade PHP and the entry will be the actual role. It will be the actual entity, the actual article. That's why if we have an image added in there, it will work. The next thing that we are going to do is run this code, PHP artisan storage link. What does it do, storage link? Well, you see that uh, we got a result message saying that uh, public storage has been linked, linked to fun storage app public. So if I go here and if I open the public folder, you see the storage. It said that every time when someone tries to access the public folder storage, then it will serve all the items from storage app public. Again. Every time when someone tries to read an item for a storage folder available in the public, it will look for that folder from the storage folder, app folder, public folder. So let's see whether it works. So if I click on edit, I now have an upload field. And in that upload field, uh, I could choose a certain file. Let's say I will go with Snake Eyes. If I save it and go back, you see, now I have the snake eyes, I have the image and it's working for me. If I go again here and check, uh, do we have something under storage, app, public, a new, a new folder has been created articles and then we have a file. And if I open the file, actually this is snake eyes, it's the same file that we have here. If I click inspect, however, on that file, the root to that file is uh, storage, articles, then the name of it. Why it's like that? Because we said that every time when you try to access something from the public folder, it's actually reading the storage folder. And in order for us to test whether our uh, code is working, if I click delete here, uh, what do we expect to happen? We expect to go back to our articles, there should be only one item in there. And if I check the public folders and the storage folders, there should not be any files. And as you could see, this is the case for us. And uh, if we add a new article, we could add the image. Let's go here, choose something, snake eyes. And then this is Ninja, save the file and it works. So we have a way for us to have a file upload inside uh, Laravel utilizing Backpack. So some things that we are not covering in this tutorial, some things that I'm leaving only for you to research and find out. Uh, version one, how do I know that I could use this support field? Well, if you open the browser and go and search for backpack fields here and if I search for upload you see that there's documentation on how this upload field works if I open for example again let me go back to the top if I go to view there is a clear way and description how how this works so if I go to view you see that I could provide the view and I could even create custom field types. And in those custom field types, entry is the current entry being modified, the actual values. So this is how I knew that I could do that with the view. And I could even do one extra thing for this view. It's related to uh, the text because you see we have partials image. And one thing that I could do is I could go to resources view partials add a new file, I will say that this is richtext.blade.php. And uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, in here, where is the content? If this is uh, show, then I don't want to use summer node. Actually, I would like to have a view 
when we are previewing it and the view name in our case is actually a resources views rich text, which is rich text. So if I say rich text, then if I go here, uh, I will get the if checks from the other one, just copy. And then I want just one text, which is Ninja, just to show you. And in here, we're interested in the content. So if I click save, uh, you see here that the uh, HTML is not rendered. So if I click refresh, now it says Ninja, but it's actually checking the content. And what I could do is I could say, okay, please print this content. And if I hit refresh, I'm again at the old way where it was. So I'm seeing all the content. It's not being cut, but I see the, all of the content, which is again, not really good. It's not nice. So uh, how I could make this to be uh, HTML sufficient? Well, inside uh, uh, Waravel, you could print values in two ways. Version one, with this type, you print the escape value with having exclamation marks. We're actually printing the non escape value. And in this case, as this is uh, HTML, we're printing the HTML. We're actually printing this HTML here. And we could move it to one line and we could make some extra changes to it. And when we save it and go back to the list, we see the actual HTML. I'm not touching base intentionally how we could cut this, how this could be split. Because the main purpose of this tutorial was to show, hey guys, this is the easiest way for you to have a file upload. Something that it's not covered in this tutorial and it's left for you is how you could validate this. Just a hint. In order for you to validate this, you need to check the requests and the article requests and add some rules in here. So see you next time.